What's more likely? Never say never, but never. Hey, yes, everybody. Sir. Friday. Happy Friday. Hey, hey, happy Friday hey, to you. So, hey, Felly. Great to see you, man. Hey, thanks, man. I'm here. <laughs> Slobber knocker in Pittsburgh on Sunday, right? We can agree to that. Um, a paint swapping affair. Yeah, shout out to Jim Ross. More likely to be the higher total. Chargers rushing yards. Rushing yards. They have 395 this season. Mm. Or Justin Fields' total yards. Totally. He has 357. Oh, I'll go to- total yards from Justin Fields. Even though the Chargers It's going to be tough sledding, more. man. It's going to be tough sledding, dude. That's a... Come on. That's a tough front seven. Great offensive line. Patrick Queen, pal. J.K. Dobbins. That's going to be fun. That's going to be fun. It's going to be like 10-7 fun. Uh, I, <laughs> it, it, what is that uh, O slash U line, uh, sir? I can't imagine it's very high. I don't, I don't have it off That being said, it'll be like 27, what is it? I'm sure you've got 15 of those sites open on your 90 windows that you have open have on your so computer. I have so many windows. 35 and a half, <laughs> the lowest total of the week. Last night, Patriots-Jets was 38 and a half. Yeah, I, I, I'm going to take total yards for Justin Fields. I'm going to take that for you. That's a tough front seven, pal. That's going to be some tough sledding. So even if it's what, uh, they run for 150 yards, you don't think Fields is going to have a total of 150? I'm not sure. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm just saying. What else? All right. Unlikely. How about this one? Unlikely 2-0 and quarterback to keep playing out of his mind. Sam Darnold. Uh, in a win. Or... Sam Darnold or Derek Carr. Oh, I'll take Derek Carr, bud. To keep it going in a win. Dude, I'll take Derek Carr. You just heard Joe Davis uh, rightfully point out how the Eagles defense has a few loosened bolts that need tightening. And this team has been boat racing. And when I tell you again, you guys have seen a game in Arrowhead now. Yes. Mm -hmm. Have you seen one in the Superdome for the New Orleans Saints? I'm not. You have not lived, sir, (laughs) until you see a New Orleans Saints crowd fired up about their team, showing up, dressed like the Pope, et cetera, and so on and so forth. Maybe we'll change that this season. Dude, I'm Mm -hmm. telling you. So the Eagles have got their work cut out for them, and I can't wait for that game. And the Texans' defense, boy howdy, I think is a lot better than Houston and will be packed. Let's put it this way. You got to pack your defense to win on the road, as yeah. uh, Warren Sapp would always say on game day morning. Defense when on. run game. You got to pack your defense in your run game, and uh, Houston will do that, I think, potentially more effectively than Philadelphia based on what I'm seeing. I'm going with Derek Carr. No. Nope. Sir? Going Derek with Carr. Carr. Joe Mixon uh, not practicing. What else? Uh, how about this one? 0 oh, 2 team most likely to steal a road win, and it would be stealing. Broncos or Giants? Denver and Tampa, man. Uh, I I have picked up the Tampa defense in multiple fantasy leagues. Ah, so everybody's you. aware of that. Okay. Uh, had to stay heads up. Yep. Heads up. Um, Giants at Cleveland. I'll, I'll go Giants at Cleveland. That's more likely. They played a little bit better last week. Daniel Jones looked a little bit better. I agree with you, sir. And um, and Malik Neighbors, they, 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 there's nobody who looks like Malik Neighbors uh, in, in orange. They were force-feeding him last okay. week. Okay. So, and, and Devin Singletary, I know he had a, an awful fumble for the Giants. Uh, if, if the Giants didn't suffer uh, a kicker injury, they might have won that game. Cleveland looked terrible in week one at home. All they got to do is just hit the Browns in the mouth a little bit, and the dog pound's going to get restless. And they are firing cannons in Tampa. So um, I will go with the Giants, is more likely. Sure. Uh, how about another uh, total here? More likely to be the higher total. Colts rushing yards allowed. Or Anthony Richardson passing yards. Colts are home against the Chicago Bears. Uh, so I will go rushing yards allowed. They've given up 470 and change. I will go season. rushing yards allowed. That Bears defense is pretty damn good, man. They're, they're plucky last week against Houston. They're 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 plucky, all right. Yeah. Big DeAndre Swift. Uh, um. Yes, I will go Colts rushing yards allowed. What do you like in that game? Um. Great question. I haven't given it much thought. It's like it's what's a one point game. It's basically a toss-up. I yeah. I understand. I, I kind of think Caleb Williams is going to have a, a better yeah, day right? yeah. again. Yeah. So I'm leaning towards the Bears, but then there's a desperate team on the other side, 0-3. I don't know what's going on. They didn't put 
They put in Jonathan Taylor in the fourth quarter of a game. Yeah, it was tight. I, I, I don't know what's going on. And they were like, them. you know, well, this is the way the game was going. And it's just like, yeah. why are we taking Jonathan Taylor <laughs> off the field in Wisconsin? Right. What are we doing? I don't know what's up. With it them. wasn't like that game was out of reach. I know they made it tight late. Anthony Richardson is quite the roller coaster ride. Hey, it's good kind of bad. his rookie season still. Yeah. What else? Oh, sure. for sure, for sure. Uh, how about this one? Uh, do you guys play fantasy? You know, it's been a, a rough sled go for tight end so far. Yes, indeed. They've been pretty bad. Tight end to finally get in the end zone. Kelsey. In a win. Yeah, they're playing each other. Sam Laporta or Trey McBride? Two of the highest drafted oh, tight this ends. This is a very uh, oddly specific. What's more likely? It seems like. <laughs> This might be a way for you to ask me for fantasy advice. Is that what's happening? Am I sniffing out some sort of personal stake well, in this question? I don't have, no I don't have respect, respect guys. Rich, but you're 0-2 in fantasy, so I'm not sure right. he would wow. come to you. In Each this day. league, in our league, advice. in our league. I do have a portal. No, no, I was going to yeah. say, you definitely Respectfully. Do. I have a portal. Tried though. to trade for him. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a ridiculous trade off. Yeah, it happens. Um, I'll go Sam Laporta. I mean, it's a coin flip. What you, go, you going Lions in this I'm, game? I'm, 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 thinking, I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. What else? I'm riding that Cardinal train. All right, one and one road contender facing the biggest must-win scenario this week. 49ers or Dolphins? Oh, I'll go Dolphins, dude. Come on, 49ers must win? Get out of here, dude. Come on. Really? What if the Niners lose one and two? Then what are we talking about Just on Monday? Fine. Then we're talking about a team that's one and two with 14 more regular seasons games left without McCaffrey, without Debo. I mean, Kittle didn't practice yesterday. I'll keep an eye on that. Come on, man. The Dolphins don't have two of for three more games, including this one. And the Bills have already beaten them in their house. The Jets have looked improved each and every week division game for the Niners I understand that that it's a division game on the road there's no doubt I mean you the Dolphins need to win games right now without Tua it would be great to come up with that win in Seattle by the way Seattle wins their three and oh pal yeah again not talking about them I know that <laughs> just every week not talking about Seattle and uh we will talk to Tom Pelissero about the fact that Tua is on the flight yeah, reports that he's traveling he's with the traveling team. He's traveling with the week. team, which yeah. doesn't sound uh, as if he's going through anything dire, but right. I think he is, clearly, with, with well, his decision-making. Yeah. All right, you got one more? Over? Oh, yeah, yeah, I got a couple more. I had two okay. more. Uh, what's more likely, the Chiefs keep getting every break imaginable, or Kirk <laughs> Cousins <laughs> from the last two minutes this shows guy. up for 60 this on guy. Sunday night? By the way, the whether... Chiefs had a setup for Butker to win it. That got wiped out on a penalty on their offense. Everybody's just pointing out that defensive pass interference that set up Butker for the win bailed out the Chiefs when it was 100% of a penalty. Way, people giving me crap for saying this is uncatchable. Like, where's the ball in that photo? Because it's already been. Uh, where's the ball? I don't know, dude. And then look at the space between the <laughs> two guys. It was 100% like, really? so the a call foul. On the left is it a penalty. Was a foul. Right? It was a foul. Had, had you read the script, you would have known how this. No was a foul. No contact. It was a foul. It was a foul. All right, I'm just I believe the foul had already created a carom of the football uh, out of the photograph. Whatever you're trying to right, your your way here. Answer the question, Rich. Was, Answer the question. Chris, was it the Molly Karam off the ball? Hey, now. Oh, sure. Okay, Chiefs get every break imaginable just because I'm giving you what you're looking for. <laughs> you don't believe in Kirk, huh? He's been our guest twice That's in the last disrespect. month. Disrespect no, I'm giving you what you're looking for. Okay. All right? All right. Because clearly there's an agenda. <laughs> Who's the referee? Is it Sean Hockley on Sunday oh, night? Oh, my God. All right, last one. Well, uh, by the way, I see was he did the Chiefs Ravens opener, and I saw him before the game. I told him to say hi to your dad. So, oh, I got it. I, I have an Ed Hockley update. I'm sure. Oh, wow. yeah. I don't want to take up much time whoa, here. Whoa, whoa, yeah, yeah. Minute. I've got an Ed Hockley update. Scott Foster was the ref. All ahead. right, Cowboys finally win a playoff game. TJ or the Dodgers win a playoff series. Come on, baby. What's more likely? Yeah. What's the What's the Cowboys win a playoff game or Dodgers Dodgers win a playoff series? Disrespect is real. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. You disagree? Interesting. You disagree? What you think? You disagree? <laughs> what you think? Excuse me, sir. You think? Dodgers do not win a playoff series. I don't know that. We've Dodgers seen, do not we, win a playoff series. We've seen them not do that. What is more likely? The Cowboys. Dodgers do not win a playoff series. 
Cowboys do not win a playoff game. Look, both Excuse of, me. Neither of these things could happen. They're probably very But as you know, that's not, the, that's not the name of the game. It's but what's more likely. I'm riding with the boys. The boys. The boys. Nice. Okay. You know. Dodgers win a playoff series. That's okay. what I'm saying. Okay. okay. Okay, Jim. Good one. <laughs> Good what's more likely. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free.